Anna Kendrick is a woman of so many talents. She was nominated for an Oscar for her role in Up in the Air with George Clooney, but she's probably most recognized as Becca from the Pitch Perfect franchise. Well, now she is adding a new title to her resume, author, in her first book called Scrappy Little Nobody. Anna shares a collection of brutally honest short stories that will have you laughing out loud. I can vouch for that. Oh, Anna, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Y'all can't get rid of me. No. Just keep coming back. We don't want to. Just knocking on the door. We love you. And now you are an author, but as I understand it, not a memoirist. Well, I don't know. That word sounds so pretentious, doesn't it? Like, I mean, not if you are, you've like lived a storied life, but I do feel a little silly calling it a memoir as though, um, like, I've experienced so much and could possibly impart wisdom. Uh, I don't know what you call a book of uh, embarrassing and slightly incriminating stories. <laughs> you call it Scrappy Little Nobody. Yeah. I actually love that title. Thank you. But like, let's discuss it. Let's unpack. Is yeah. that okay? So that's like how you it's felt. One, it's one of those. It's one of those titles that I knew that some people might take as as me trying to be like, who little old me? You know, <laughs> that's like seems a little disingenuous. But um, it was about this conversation that I had with my brother, where I don't know. Do you ever just have that feeling like? Oh, am I getting lazy that I used to be a better version of myself? Mm. And um, and I had this conversation with my brother, and I was like, I think I was more capable when I was just this kind of scrappy little nobody. And he was like, You're still scrappy. You just get more emails now. <laughs> and um, and then I found this uh, photo of me when I was like three years old, looking like really feisty and really angry. I cannot imagine about what. And it just kind of made me feel um, happy to know that like that drive that you have, you know, at any point in your life, you can access that, you know, no matter. Oh, yeah, there There's she the is. picture. I just oh, love it. Oh, well, she's heaven. She's adorable. God. We're going to get back to that picture in a moment. God but let's start because we, you, you started, I mean, people might know you from Up in the Air or Pitch Perfect. You started on Broadway yeah. as a young girl, but I love what you write. You say, I get embarrassed about being a child actor. <laughs> Probably because I spent a lot of time around child actors when I was one, and they're crazy. Yeah, I know, and it's funny because when you said, you know, you started around, like my knee-jerk reaction was to go, oh yeah, I'm one of those crazy child actors. So, <laughs> you know, proves my point exactly. <laughs> you also talk about, and this kind of goes to the scrappy little nobody something, you, you write, even now, every job I get, I worry that it'll be my last. I think becoming a washed up hag is my destiny. And I just wanted to say, <laughs> me too. Right? So I'll see you at the hag I convention. Can't wait. Yes. Just in an alley, chain smoking, you know, talking about my glory days. I can't <laughs> wait. It, you, you tell little tales about Hollywood here and there. One of my favorites had to do with when you were just like getting known for Up in the Air. Yeah. And then you're at the red carpet. And people think, like, oh, you've been styled and yeah. it's all free stuff. Yeah, and some stylist made you buy really expensive <laughs> shoes. I know. It's one of those funny things where it is the great irony that like once you uh, can afford the shoes somebody will lend them to you which is <laughs> lovely um, but at that point no the movie wasn't out yet and nobody really knew who I was and um, and my stylist was like well you still have to be wearing the expensive shoes otherwise the world will end I don't know and um, and kind of talked me into buying these shoes that were more than my rent and I was like I think that you think my life has completely changed already, and it hasn't. I'm going to need to wait on that, but I got talked into it. It was a very pathetic moment. You're still paying off the shoes, <laughs> but, and I bet you they weren't comfortable either. No, not at all. Why would they be? No. Okay, so back to your picture. Just I couldn't resist, so I noticed it's on the back of the book, so yeah. I noticed it. So we'll put up your picture first. I or think. not. Or not. Or we'll you just wait, 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 you wait, guys wait. Saw it. They know. They, oh, they know. Tell they me remember. it's coming. I'm really building up to something here because the first thing I thought was, wow, that hair, I recognize it. Okay, next picture, please. I just want to show you that's me. Uh, yes. And now my little girl who looks just like yes. you. I, so I thought, oh, I love that little, for a us little curly haired girls with cheeks. Face. Yes. Look at us. Oh my God. So may we all Adorable. turn out as well as you, Anna Kendrick. So sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was so cute. <laughs> Congrats oh on the God. book. I know, it's crazy, right? I know. Scrappy Little Nobody available in bookstores tomorrow. Yeah. Coming up next. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.